Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Mother Superior Dawn Marie is the last Carmelite standing in Guam. The move uh, to, to go to California was a very difficult one. One month after celebrating their 50th anniversary on Guam, in June, all the remaining Carmelite nuns that were living here in this house in Tumuning left, except for their mother superior. She cited the ongoing controversies in the local church as some of the reasons for their departure. Pretty toxic environment for the nuns to live in. In a rare press conference, Mother Dawn talked to local media to share her side of the story relating to the RMS property in Jotnia. You see, after years of speculation about who was the mystery $2 million benefactor that allowed for the Archdiocese acquisition of the RMS property in Jotnia, she finally came out saying all it took was a phone call to her Carmelite sisters in the States. There was no he, it was a she, and it was me. <laughs> so um, the, the truth of where the money came from, it's as easy as that. According to Mother Dawn, her wish to remain anonymous was not respected, and the conditions for which she understood the property was to be used for were not followed. We knew that it would be for the education of priests. We knew that. Uh, we never said anything, anything about the Redemptorist Martyr Seminary. We didn't even know anything about that entity. We never said anything about the San Vitoris Theological Institute because it wasn't even created at that time. So you can only imagine her reaction years later when she just happened to be visiting the very Carmelite community that donated that two million. That Mother Superior called Mother Dawn over to her computer to show her an email she just received from Archbishop Anthony Aperon. Archbishop Anthony Aperon had asked the sisters who had given the gift to say that they had purposely earmarked that gift for the Redemptorist Martyr Seminary and for the San Vitoris Theological Institute of Oceania. That was completely untrue. Mother Dawn said they refused to participate in this alleged cover-up. They reported it to the Vatican and contacted their attorneys in St. Louis, Missouri, who then asked if they wanted to litigate the issue, which the Carmelites declined. Um, but when the Mother Superior returned to Guam, she met up with the Archbishop. And I asked him, I said, Archbishop, why did you send that letter indicating that we had donated that property and allowing for the deed of restriction when you know it was not true? He reacted, he said, I'm not the one who did it. Pious and they did it. They framed the letter. Mother Dawn wouldn't go so far as identifying who they were. For now, she says she'll pray for the local archdiocese during this toxic environment. She's planning to settle things here on Guam before leaving to join her Carmelite sisters in the States. At uh, some point, when you fall down so flat, there's only one way to go. The, the direction has to be up under, under that. So let's just say it's not even going to be a new chapter. Let's hope that we have a whole new era when Bishop uh, Michael Burns arrives. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.